It's weird that people smash a bottle of wine to christen a ship, right? Where'd this come from? The ocean has always been a spooky place, but it was especially treacherous for ancient mariners. As early as the third millennium BC, the Babylonians would make an animal sacrifice to bless their boats and increase their chances of survival. The ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans all carried on some form of these ceremonies. In order to appease the gods of the sea, whether it be Nu, Poseidon, or Neptune, Water was poured on a new vessel to honor the gods and earn their good graces. Over time, this offering turned into a cup of wine poured on the deck or bow of a new ship. And by the 17th century, they apparently decided that this wasn't enough, and they began just smashing the whole damn bottle, usually champagne, which we still do to this day because it's fun. A failed christening is considered a bad omen. In 2005, the bottle bounced off the hull of the Costa Concordia without breaking. She ended up being the largest passenger ship to ever sink. Some aren't as superstitious. The White Star Line, for example, almost never christened their ships, including the Titanic, and we all know how that turned out. It's weird that people 